It has been an honor to serve you even in difficult times. I now look to us all that we will continue to accompany the people of God as Pope Francis has taught us and be especially mindful of the impact we have on those less fortunate. Traveling on your behalf these past three years, it was a privilege to learn from so many people along the way. Visiting the border detention centers, I remember the many hand-drawn pictures of Jesus or Mary in the children's rooms, places, and the long lines even for confession before mass. Separated from their families, I met dozens of children who called upon their Catholic faith and the firm knowledge that Christ and his church would be present with them. Along with my brother bishops, we went because Jesus was already there. We followed our shepherd, Jesus. I invite everyone who may hear this to share our journey of solidarity with migrants and refugees. May we accompany our sisters and brothers as Jesus accompanies us in our own struggles. My life has also forever been changed by meeting with a number of survivors of abuse. When too many within the church sought to keep them in the darkness, they refused to be relegated to the shadows. Their witness brought help to countless fellow survivors. It fueled the resolve of my brother bishops to respond with pastoral support and prevention programs. By sharing their pain, survivors empowered us with the knowledge needed to respond. And Pope Francis has ushered in a new era of bishops' accountability with a worldwide standard for investigating wrongdoing, protecting whistleblowers, and serving survivors. As our Holy Father has said so well and so often, one of those areas we need to strive to correct is clericalism. We cannot permit anyone who is ordained to act as if he is Lord over others. The privilege of a cleric is to be a humble servant of all. Justice demands that those who are shepherds should lead from in front, as courage requires, and from behind, as humility requires, going to those who are lost. Our present culture has been overtaken by various ideologies, political divisions. Civil dialogue has frequently been replaced by coarse rhetoric. As the followers of Christ, let us take a different path. Follow a simple truth. God is always courteous. Let us be courteous. Thank you, brothers, for the last three years. Mm -hmm.